Assalamu alaikum hello everyone so today we are at obuda university so we have zoheb with us uh, zoheb how are you i'm good thanks what about you i'm good alhamdulillah we also have tabish bhai with us and zoheb is currently studying in obuda university zoheb can you tell a little bit about what you are studying here so i'm doing cs i'm a cs major and it's my fourth semester here So I was also told me like this university is ranked number 1 CS university this year is it true Zaib Yeah for the last 2 years it has been ranked as the first the best CS university in Hungary mm-hmm. and it has crossed LTE and VME uh, Before that I was thinking like LTE is the number 1 CS university Yeah LTE is the was the best CS university mm-hmm. but for the last 2 years in 2023 and 2024 it has surpassed the LTE and VME mm-hmm. So do you think uh, academically it is number 1 or it is just with the so. numbers like uh, i'm studying here and i've seen the curriculum and the professors and everything and i can bet on it like ubuda is the best cs university in hungary okay so we'll check now is ubuda best university or not we are on the ground floor right now and they are having a job fair and on the ground floor they also have a cafeteria we're going to show you that also and i'm going to ask zoheb uh, are these uh, job fair worth it or beneficial like do you guys get a placement or something from these or they so are just like advertised these job fairs they they are organized every semester mm-hmm. and i don't think so these are that much of a beneficial thing because these are job fairs not uh job placements mm-hmm. so they are just advertising their companies and whenever you go to a job uh to the stall of these uh Company. companies mm-hmm. uh they they'll ask you either whether you know hungarian or not we gonna ask tavish bhai tavish bhai is with us so there is a reason behind it so we gonna ask tavish bhai to go to any of the stall or to any of the companies uh, representative and ask them do they have a placement or something for tavish bhai so let's go and okay. check it out but before that as he mentioned that uh, they just prefer hungarian speaking yeah. so inish kitchi basilic majarol so can i get the job <laughs> with inish kitchi basilic majarol i don't think you will but you can so, give it a try so okay, tavish bhai know three good. words and he is thinking that he will get a job so let's go and try Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, uh, okay. As I see, this is MBH Bank. Uh, so you're representing you're representing MBH Bank. So I would like to ask you, like, uh, I have experience of banking, like, back in Pakistan at my country, uh, my home country. So is it possible that I'm not speaking Hungarian? So can I get a job in bank? Yeah, actually, for our bank, we are looking for only Hungarian speaking people. Only Hungarian speaking. Yeah. What yeah. if I speak little bit Hungarian? Which is Basilic Mazarol? Uh, what your yeah, word? Maybe it, it's covered, but uh, uh, yeah, we need a, a conversational uh, English for, for uh, I mean, I mean Hungarian for our jobs. Okay. So, sure. in the future. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank nice you for your time. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. So still we are on the ground floor and on this side they have a Ford T model which is a vintage car and uh, I'm sure there will be a history of this car and it's written here and we want to ask a little bit from Zuhaib uh, what he knows about this car and why it's here. So basically it's a shame that I don't know myself about this car because this is a mechanical art not being a computer science art. So, so basically what I think it's like it was put here because of the 100th anniversary yeah. of uh, the chief design engineer yeah. I don't know the name maybe Joseph Galam okay and uh, he was the chief design engineer of this car so that's who why studied, this car is here yeah exactly yeah. who studied at the predecessor, predecessor institute of this university okay so basically so, I think basically this the is the, this is the tribute uh, that's why they gave this car yeah. and we're going to show you the shots of this car and it's a crazy vintage car 
food model team. So, know the name. <laughs> let's see the shots. So still we are on the ground floor and we're gonna ask Zuhaib what is this place? So basically on the ground floor, apart from the common study area, we have eight classes named mm. as F01 to F08. Mm. And then we have two big halls, like auditoriums and one cafeteria. Mm. So basically this class F05, this class is basically the lecture room where you have the capacity of 100 to 200 persons mm. and also the F06 as well. So they and, have two classrooms here at yeah, this place. And other classes like F02, F03, F04, they are basically small uh, classrooms with a maximum yeah. capacity of 50 persons. So on and the ground floor, area. they also have a smoking area and uh, you can see students are smoking here and it's a quite nice place you can come and get a fresh air. Yeah, it's a cozy classes. nice place where you can just play table tennis after the class. Oh, also and they have a, a table tennis Have a smoke. Here. So it's so like a cozy here. place. Uh, this I can say so like this faculty is better than ours and in the study we're saying it's not that good so I think I've been to several today. universities uh, in uh, Budapest so but I, I think, think that this this faculty is not that good as compared to okay, the so universities. So your standards are high that's the reason. No I don't that's think so thing. but because I've been to university Corvinus University mm. ah, and okay, that is much why, more amazing why, than this why. one. We are planning to go to Corvinus like this week or maybe next week. For sure, you have to go there. Yeah, I will show them that university also. But the, your university is really nice if you will compare it with our faculty. So this was the cafeteria and uh, we're going to go to the first floor now. So let's go. Uh, we were coming out of the uh, corridor. So we saw here uh, there are some crazy um, vending machines you can say but uh, these are not seems like vending machines so we are going to ask Zuhaib about this why these are like so basically like I'd robot. say that you haven't seen such vending machines anywhere in Budapest yeah. uh, these are basically uh, the new vending machines only operated in Abuda University and Abuda dormitory mm -hmm. and it's it has an app called SM vending and mm -hmm. you download the app you create an account on the app and then you scan this QR code and when you scan the QR code, you have the option on the mobile phone to open the refrigerator. It has locks here. Oh. Yeah. And when the refrigerator is open, you can take anything you want. And mm. the fridge automatically detects what you have taken. Okay. And then it uh, detects the money according to that. From GPay or Apple Pay? Uh, yeah, from GPay, Apple Pay, whatever you have. So this is one of the lecture room which was open. And we're going to show you that. So Zohab, uh, did you have any of the class here in this lecture room? Yes, I had the basic software development in the mm. previous semester in this class mm. and it was the lecture because mm. this is a lecture hall and the lecture of that class was happening here mm. and we have the same lecture rooms as this one called F07 and F08. Uh, the one we were shot when Yes, exactly. We were and this is F01. Okay. So basically we have three such kind of uh, lecture rooms and one is bigger auditorium. And uh, how, like how much student can fit in this lecture room uh, approximately? Like an estimate amount is like 100 to 200 students maybe okay. yeah, i'm not sure but like a really 100 200 one. okay so we'll show you the lecture room now So we are on the first floor now and uh, they have a really nice floor and they have laboratories of some companies Morgan Stanley, Nokia and uh, they also have rector offices there. Uh, what's that place? So basically the place where we are standing this is the common study area. Mm. Here we have the rector offices mm. and on this side we have IT evolution department. That's okay. the basic department of our computer so science we're gonna, systems. We're gonna show you the IT evolution department.
so we are inside the it evolution department and they have uh, these shelves in which they have preserved the old art crafts and uh, what this shows as well i want to ask you since it is old uh, it evolution department mm. so it shows that how it evolved over the years mm. what was it before and what mm. it what it is now so basically okay. it shows how the it evolved i think so that's the only reason they have preserved it here okay they have a common study place also here so on the it evolution department they have a, a test center for le- uh, deaf and blind people so if any of the deaf and blind people want to enroll they going to give the test here and let's go and see the common study area so we are on the second floor right now and we're going to ask to hear what they have on this floor uh actually on the second floor we just have the regular classes mm-hmm. but the extraordinary thing we have here is the cisco networking lab okay. it's a wonderful lab for the networking technologies and routing switching sort of things mm-hmm. so we have all the electronic equipments related to switching and routing as well as the computer lab for the networking sort of thing so i think so you can show it there's the lab this is school lab and the rest are regular classes So we are on the second floor and we're going to ask Zoheb uh, what they have on the third and fourth floor. Basically on third and fourth floor there are not anything worth mentioning mm-hmm. except for the fact that we just have the professors and dean's offices mm-hmm. and some normal study rooms, uh, okay. computer labs and so on. So things. we're going to go to the library now. Yeah, now we are going to go into uh, the library but we can't speak there since it's a quiet zone mm. so you'll just see the shots of the mm. library and nothing else it's perfect and you also told me about the computers yeah have, uh, the fun fact like in this university you'll find the computer that have i7 14 gen in them all so of them all of them that's so crazy. that's why i'm saying that this university is the best cs university in hungary <laughs> right now it is i7 14 gen they just installed it like 2 3 months ago before they were having i5 8 gen and now they just installed i7 14 gen and i'm fasting and he's drinking like he doesn't oh, okay. care <laughs> okay so i wish that i can uh, edit in those computers because mine one lags a lot so i'm uh, feeling a little bit uh, jealous from them they have i7 and 14 14th generation yeah. so i can assume they will be super fast right yeah they are basically when we first used to study in the i5 8 gen computers uh they used to lag in the basic software development programs but now they are really super fast and like we can do anything with such sort of speed that you can't even imagine okay that's crazy let's go to the library now so they have library in this building right and yeah we have library in this building and we're going to go inside and show you the library unfortunately we are not allowed to talk as uh, zoheb told you guys so we're going to just put some shots and tapish was tapish bhai was doing some freestyle things so we're going to show you that also so let's go so we are here in the bc building now and it's uh, right front of us it's the student service or international office you can say and what else we have zoheb in this faculty in this faculty we usually have the classes for the electrical engineering students and some classes for the computer science students as well also we have the international office and the coordinator office 
just for the computer science department. We have it. You have, there uh, you have libraries school. also, uh, laboratories here. Uh, yeah, labs, we have two labs here. Oh, so. Okay. And uh, they all, you guys also have classes here. Yes, we have classes on either third floor or the fourth floor. And uh, this faculty is, I think, connected with the. Yes, it is basically the same faculty, uh, but we have different routes. Different, different building. Okay. Yeah. So, Tavish, why you want to add something? Uh, yes, I wanted to suggest something to the management of this building at uh, this university as well that uh, they should work on the elevators because <laughs> it's so tiring. They have too much stairs over here, so they should deduct some budget from the computers and they should invest in this kind of like elevators or escalators. I think they're not gonna listen you all the the students will watch it. You are just saying for the students. Management will work on it. The management is not international student friendly here. Uh, okay. So, so you person, just wanted to say international that. Students. I wanted to say this only. That's it for Obuda University. And so lastly, I want to ask Zoheb, what majors they have in this faculty? So the student who want to apply can have an idea whether it's their faculty or not. So basically, this uh, faculty is called as John Von Newman Faculty of Informatics. So basically, you have all the subjects related to informatics, like you have Bachelor's of Computer Science Engineering, Master's of Computer Science Engineering, Applied Mathematics, both in Bachelor's and Master's. And you have Business Informatics for Master's, and yeah, that's all. And also electrical engineering. Yeah, okay. You have these so, subjects. Yeah. Perfect. So that's it. That's all for the Obuda University. And thank you so much, Zoheb, for, for hosting us. Really and appreciate it. and, and uh, thank, thank you so you much for time. watching this video. Tavish you want to add something? Uh, yes, I want to add some sugar in my tea. So it will give me some relief. <laughs> okay, so guys, we want to end this here because Tavish is so too tired. <laughs> and he want to drink something. So see you in the next one. Until next time, goodbye. See you.